Oh, got himself tangled up. There's Nikolai Valuev. Seven feet two with a voice to match. Round three. So, Alexander Povetkin then in the black shorts here. The Russian, the house favourite against Taurus Sykes, who's not even a favourite in his own house. Talking of Valuev, you could see a, a fight between Povetkin and Valuev for a world title would fill any 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 arena in, in Russia, wouldn't it? Yep, well, the dip down there from Sykes and a good body shot. But he just doesn't react well. The moment he's hit or under pressure, he, he just seems to just unravel. He doesn't want to fight. Yep, clinging on again. He's looking for a new dancing partner, I suspect. Povetkin's just got to keep his concentration here, keep his boxing going, not worry about the, the man trying to break his rhythm, rhythm up and spoil him. Good right hand. And I've got to say that this referee is responsible for an awful lot of what Sykes is doing here. He should read in the right attack and possibly duck, deduct the point. Well, he's getting a difference. Good body shot there. Good body shot, I thought, from Povetkin. Yeah, but it's ruled no count again. The referee wasn't impressed, telling him to get up. He doesn't want to. Well, count him out if he doesn't want to get up. Yeah. Local he, rules. He's an ugly fighter, isn't he, Sykes? He's an intimidated fighter. He doesn't. He's looking at the ref. He took another right hand. Oh, he is ugly to watch. I've always thought that about him. Well, and I've known him since his professional debut way back now. That made his pro debut back uh, ten years ago. Saw a lot of him in the early days, and I don't think he's changed a great deal. But then again, this isn't about Sykes tonight. This is all about Bob Yetkin and how impressively he can dismantle this man. Not given the opportunity, though, is he? Well, That's right there. He's just just keeping the punches coming as best he can. He knows this man's trying to just spoil and, and mess his way through it, but Sykes really offering very little. And Povetkin just he just has to keep concentrate, keep keep concentrating, keep the punches coming. Surely he'll get rid of this man. Well, once again the referee there speaking to Sykes. But he's got to start taking action as far as I'm concerned. Nice right hand there from uh, Povetkin. A clipping left hook as well to follow. And this must be so frustrating for the Russian as he lands another right. Well, he just has to keep the punches coming. Try a bit of variety, faint a little bit, try something different. And just really just, he looking as if he thinks he can just walk straight through him. Round, he's got through the round sights, but it's a timid performance at the moment. He looks as if he just doesn't want any part of this. Well, a very good finish there from Povetkin, and he's winning now, 30-27 here in Chekhov. Don't forget, this is the Sports Palace, and it really has filled out now. I can't do it, he said. I can't do it. They're trying their best to get him up and, you know, get some inspiration into him, but it's, it's just unravelled. Well, a bit of replay here then for the final moments in fact of round three now the big question i've got bob is will sykes come out for another round not sure he wants to he's got no belief he was talking about it before that he got everything that he was he was fed up of people saying he was nothing well here's he has been his chance to put a show on and mentally he's just not coped his head's down he is coming out for round four well all those people that said he was nothing could be right as we come out now for the fourth round of the scheduled 10-round heavyweight contest. Then we get live and exclusive on Nuts TV. So, Alexander Povetkin in the uh, black shorts. And he's won all three rounds so far, completed against Taurus Sykes, who wants to spoil and hold his way through this. And the referee, I'm afraid, has colluded in that. I think the referee's trying to get in there at times but these are big guys it's hard to prize them apart well here goes Povetkin again now count him ref please thank you thank you yeah that was a, 
a decent attack. He doesn't look as if he wants to get up. I don't think he's any intention of getting up. He's actually he's not going to get up. He's not going to get up, Bob. He's staying down for ten. It's all over. It's all over in four rounds. So Toro Sykes has bowed out in four rounds here, very unsatisfactorily against uh, Alexander Povetkin. And what did we learn from that, Bob? Well, Povetkin just did the job he had to do. He went out, he kept the punches flowing, it was inevitable, this man never got into the fight, mentally he was never there. The crowd don't mind, they're enjoying the party. Povetkin, little shake of the head, he knew what the situation was. But uh, he can do, do no more than walk out and do the job. He did it. Well, what we learned there uh, in that particular fight was simply that uh, Sykes can't fight. Well, tonight he wouldn't. He, he's gone... Last fight a year ago, he went ten rounds with Hasim Rachman. That result does look good for Povetkin, but really those punches were... It was the right hand, and then he was, he was just folding up, wasn't he? He was hopeless. Trying to get out of the way. That right hand landed, the first one was glancing, nothing else landed, tried to hold on. Fell over, do it. Fell over, and didn't want to get up again. Tumbled down to the canvas, yep. I think the right from Povetkin was pretty decent, but not by no means a knockout blow. And no, that was it. That was it. It wasn't. You're right, it was a decent shot, accurate, but not enough to have that effect, surely. Unless you're Toro Sykes. He said before, uh, before the start of the fourth round, I can't. Well, he was right. But unsatisfactory performance from Sykes. Not Povetkin's fault. 16-0 for him. Klitschko, here we come. Well, more like not I can't, Bob, but I won't. But as you said, the crowd are very happy here with Povetkin's win, and so they should be. And I think he has a genuine chance of beating Vladimir Klitschko later on in the year if the fight can be made there's talk that it's already uh, on the board well we'll see about that as for Sykes well where can he go Palookaville I suggest yeah he doesn't matter anymore